I asked the question last night. Am I reading enough books or am I not? If I engage in my current financial practices, will it take me toward the fortune I would wish for in the next 10 years or will it not? If I keep up my current health practices, will I have the vitality and the health and the vigor to do all the things I want to do five years from now? Will I or won't I? Are my current practices taking me where I would really like to go? Or have I been kidding myself for quite some time? The key to development is to be all that you can possibly be. I don't know what your talents are. I don't know what your skills are. But here's what I probably am right on. That you're behind being all that you can be and not let habits drag you down. Not let things you know sidetrack you from the full development of what you have. The capable of being what all could your heart encompass. If you really had the chance and you really had the disciplines and really got to it, what could you really become? What could you earn? How healthy could you really be? How many books could you write? How many poems could you write? So here's what I would ask of you. If you feel that you're a little bit stalled, wherever you are in your progress, I'm asking you to correct that. I'm asking you to see if you can't possibly be on a more accelerated track toward your possibilities and your full development. Here's what life is all about to become, all that we can possibly be, the full development of all of your potential. Number one. Number two is the wise use of all of your resources. That's what life is all about, full development. In the time allotted to labor, in the time given to economics, care for family, success achievement, productivity, the creation of value, the development of skills and creativity. If you could do better, should you? I think that one of the greatest satisfactions of living life to the fullest is doing the best you can with whatever you have. Doing less than your best has ways of eroding the psyche. We seem to be creatures of enterprise. Surely it is the reason for the seasons. The soil and the sun and the rain and the seed all say, what can you do with us? The seasons say, do you have the genius to make something unique of us? Life says, here's the raw material. What splendid things can you produce from all there is? So go for high productivity, the full employment of your genius, the full development of your potential in all areas of your life, including earning money. That is the essence of life. Make this none of us lack the capacity. None of us lack the capacity. We have far more capacity than we have time to take advantage of. I do read a record where it says all that time go. Some people live to be 700 years, 800 years, 900 years old. I feel a little short changed when I only had the chance maybe to live 7,080, 90, 100 years. When all that time go, the record says some live to be 700, 800, 900 years. It seems like it would take seven or eight or 900 years to tap the full extent of our capacity, let alone 7,000, 80, 90, 100 years. But here's what I'm asking you to do, get busy. You've got more brain power than you've used so far. You've got more potential than you've used so far. You've got more strength than you possibly used so far. No telling how many languages you can learn. No telling how far you can go. No telling how strong you can get until you get busy working on yourself and see if you can't tap all of your full potential. People might have put you down in the past. I'm telling you those days are over. People have told you you're too short. People have told you you're too tall. You're too old. You're too young. I'm telling you the old idea about your limitations of the past. Those days are gone forever. The only change that is really going to dramatically affect your life is you Mr. Shelf said to me, Mr. Oh, and if it isn't going well for you, you don't say what's wrong out there. You say what's wrong in here. See, I used to blame everything outside. And then let me give you a little philosophy that helped turn my life on. For your notes here, it is, it's not what happens that determines the quality or the quantity of your life. It's not what happens. And the reason is because what happens happens to about everybody. No different. The sun went down on all of us last night. 
a common event, a happening. And I found out that the same things can happen to two different people. One gets rich and one stays poor. Why is that? It's because it's not what happens, but rather, it's what you do that changes everything. So that's a key phrase. It's not what happens, it's what you do. What happens is about the same. You might put that in princess here. Same what people do, that's what's different. Somebody says yeah, but you don't understand the disappointments I've had. Come on, everybody's had their share. Disappointments are not special gifts. Reserved for the poor. Everybody has them. The difference is what you do about it. So here's one of the key questions of the evening. Starting tomorrow, what are you going to do? That'll make a change in your life's direction. Good question. What are you going to do? Starting tomorrow, that'll make a difference. Now see if you don't do something starting tomorrow. That'll make a difference. Guess what? It's gonna be the same. And see that way you can guess what the next five years are going to be like. Look at the last five. Because the next five are going to be like the last fives. Unless you made your key. Tomorrow change it all or change a little. Or change something or don't change. It's choice time. You can do whatever you want. But it's nice to know any day you wish. You can change your own life. What can you do starting tomorrow? That'll make a difference. Good question. What can you do with economic chaos? Massive disappointment. What can you do with a broken heart? What can you do and it won't work? Good question. So if I had a word with you tonight one on one, just you and me, I think my personal advice to you would be, this year 1981, reach down inside of you and come up with some more of those remarkable human gifts. They're there waiting to be utilized and then change anything for you you want to change and i challenge you to do that because you can change if you don't like how it is for you change it if it doesn't suit you change it if it doesn't please you change it if it isn't enough change it and i challenge you to do that because you can change see you don't ever have to be the same again after tonight only by choice but i want you to make a note of this sentence and carry it with you wherever you go and it goes like this the major key, the major key to your better future, is you. Once I understood that all those years ago, when I first got started age 25, my whole life changed. It's not the circumstances that come after it. It's not the opportunity that presents itself to it. The major key to our future, each of us personally resides within ourself. But I promise you that that's where it should be. The miracle of your future has to start with you first. It has to start with you deciding. What do you want out of your life? Your willingness to look for opportunities. And when you find it, your willingness to do something about it. Like Mark Hughes. Once you've got an opportunity going. Willingness to learn the skill. One at a time. Learn the next one. Learn the next. Learn the next one. The whole key really. To your future is your own personal development. Because the miracle of your future does not lie outside of you. The miracle of your future lies within you. Some changes I needed to make at age 25. So that I could become a millionaire at age 31. And I had a teacher who gave me these extraordinary words. And I want you to make a note of them. And here's what he said, Mr. O'Neill, if you will change, everything will change for you. If you'll change from a person who won't try, to a person who will try, your life will change. If you'll change from a person who let things fly, to a person who takes care of the situation, your life will change. If you change your attitude about money, about the marketplace, about the government, about circumstances, if you'll change all of that, your life can change. If you'll change your attitude, change your thinking. Change your willingness to work. Change from drifting to doing the job. If you'll start making these changes, your income will change. Your life will change. Your future will change. I heard that simple promise when I was 25 years old. And I started making those changes. And I promise you here today. If you'll start the process of changing into a stronger person. Changing into a person. That takes advantage of opportunity instead of letting it slide, 
If you'll start making those changes, skill by skill, step by step, day by day your life will change. Four things to change. You've got to change. I used to keep wishing that things would change back in those early days, with my fingers crossed, hoping maybe the government would change, the economy would change, my negative relatives would change, and then I found out all of those things are going to be about like they've always been, that if I wanted my life to change, I was going to have to change myself, but if you will start making those personal changes, your life can take on some incredible changes, your income can change, your health can change, all kinds of things can start happening to you that have never happened before. If you'll begin the process of personal development, so make the note, the major key to my better future is me. The same wind blows on us all, the wind of circumstance, as well as the wind of opportunity. But here's how you take advantage of it. Look inside yourself, and if you'll start making those personal changes of discipline, personal changes of time management, personal changes of willingness to learn the skills, personal changes of personality improvement attitude, all of the rest. With this opportunity, you cannot miss having an extraordinary life and an extraordinary future. Personal development, becoming better than you are, more than you are, stronger than you are, wiser than you are, more capable than you are at this very moment. Key phrase success is something you attract by the person you become. Success is something you attract by the person you become. Success is not something you pursue. It's not something you chase, not something you go after. What you go after and chase usually eludes you. Like the butterfly, you can't quite get. So you don't have to pursue success. Here's what you have to do to develop success. And success starts inside. Success starts inside your head. Success starts inside your heart. Success starts inside yourself. When you decide, you're going to make the necessary changes and do the necessary growing in personal development. The success is something you attract by the person you become. But here's what you must learn to underline the two words. Pay advantage. Just because spring comes, there's no sign you're going to look good in the harbor. You must take advantage of it. Springtime now is not very long. In faith language, we call it the window, the window of opportunity. When they get ready to shoot the rockets off into space, there's a certain period of time where it's time to go. If they don't go when it's time to go, they have to wait for another cycle of time to pass before it's time to go again. Spring doesn't last all summer. Spring doesn't last all year. It's usually a brief period of time. So make this note. Learn to recognize the spring and then learn to recognize the urgency of taking advantage of the spring. The opportunity to speak to someone. The opportunity to conduct a meeting. At the longest life is free. Take advantage of every opportunity to be with your family. Every opportunity to be with a friend. Learn to value life in all of its precious moments. We call these moments of opportunities. The moments don't last forever. My presentation is not going to last forever. This day is not going to last for the next six months. It's only going to last for a little while. But the little while that come, put your heart into it. Lean into it like you're doing today. Take note, lean forward. Get everything you can while the opportunity is here. Because the window opens and then it closes. The meeting opens and then it's over. The day starts and then it concludes. So every time the sun comes up, take advantage of that day. Every time somebody presents themselves, take advantage of that opportunity. Every time you have a chance to do like I'm doing here today, to tell your story, do it. Tell your story well. Put your heart and soul into it. Because life is breathe at the lungs.